Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep it going, refreshed and inspired. Also, if the videos, lecture videos are helpful to your studies, don't forget to subscribe. Determine the absolute maximum moment in an 18 meter long synthesis supported beam due to the series of four moving concentrated loads shown below. So here is the given figure. Then the max absolute maximum moment occurs when the resultant when the heaviest load and resultant of the loads are positioned such that the center line of the beam is also their center. So therefore, the criterion would be W over L minus W1 over L over 2, which is half, because that's the possibility that the moment at the center is close to the absolute maximum moment. So the time equals W over L minus W1 over A equals 0 or W over 18 minus W1 over 9 equals 0 or we can reduce that to W over 2 minus W1. So because the 80 kN loads are very close to each other and these are the heavier loads, heaviest loads in fact, so we first consider the center and put 80 kN load just to the left of the center line so that the preceding position would be 80 kN load is just to the right of the center line. So if it's just to the left, then it is part of W1. So 40 and 80 will be part of W1. And all these loads are on the span. So delta M would be 220. 220 is the sum of all the loads on the span. This is 80 plus 80, 160 plus 40, 200. So 220 over 2 minus 120, where 120 is W1, 40 and 80, because we position this 80 kN node just to the left of the span. And uh, the value is negative, so that means, because it is now negative, previously it was positive if the 80 kN load is positioned just to the right of the center, then W1 would only be 40. So 220 over 2 minus 40 is definitely positive. Now that we position the, this 80 kN load just to the left of the center line, it is part of W1. So that's why W1 would be 40 plus 80 and it is negative. Previously, it was positive if this 80 kN load is just to the right of the center line. So the previous position is the previous maximum moment at the center, which in turn absolute maximum moment at of this beam here would be when this 80 kN load is positioned just to the right of the center line or simply on the center line. So that we won't be confused, let's have the beam and the positioning of the load that gives uh, absolute maximum moment. So imagine that the center line is the, because this is the principle, is the line midway between this 80 kN load and this resultant, where the resultant is 220, the sum of the Wait, and let's let's make this our our reference. This 80 kilonewton load. So by Varignon's theorem, to 20 times e, the distance is e, equals 80 times 3 plus 20 times 6 minus 40 times 4.5.
So 220 times 8 equals 80 times 3 plus 20 times 6 and minus 40 times 4.5. Computing for E, E is 9 over 11 meters. Therefore, half of E is 9 over 22. One half of this, the distance between the center line and this left 80 kN load or the distance between the center line and this resultant. So let's position the loads to cause absolute maximum moment under this 80 kN load. So that's the center line. And this is 9 meters. Therefore, the distance of the 80 kN load from the left support is 9 minus E over 2. 9 minus 9 over 22. So that's the resultant. So 9 minus 9 over 22, half of 9 over 11 is 9 over 22, is 189 over 22. Same is true, the distance of this resultant from the right support is also 189 over 22, or 9 minus E over 2. Therefore, because the Absolute maximum moment is expected to occur under this load. Let's compute for RA. And after we compute for RA, then we take moment about this point considering forces to the left. The absolute maximum moment is RA times 189 over 22 minus 40 times 4.5. So that's our working equation for computing the absolute maximum moment. So I'll call that RA, RB. So summation moment B equals 0. RA times 18 equals 220 times 189 over 22. 189 over 22. So RA is equal to 105 kilonewtons. And finally, absolute maximum moment is RA times 189 over 22 minus 40 times 4.5 by statics. So M absolute max is equal to 722.0 kilonewton meter. So that's it for this problem.